Hi, I just got this new camera. I'm pretty excited about it. This is an Insta360 X2, or actually one X2. Um, along with this camera, I picked up a lens cap. This is a very important thing to have with this camera as the, uh, the lenses are very um, exposed and can get damaged uh, pretty easily if the camera falls over, which can happen and has happened to me. I've been using the, the uh, One X, the Insta360 One X for about a year and um, it did fall over a few times and one time my daughter had it and uh, it fell over onto brick and that scratched the lens pretty bad. So uh, very important to have that lens cap. I'm glad to, to have that. Um, if you haven't used these cameras, they're pretty awesome. I've taken a lot of videos underwater, scuba diving. I've taken them riding around on, on bikes and one wheels and what through town. And it really gives your viewer a kind of feeling like they're there where they can, uh, they can spin around the image and, and watch and look at what they want. Um, the image resolution of this is really great. It's basically HD in all directions. Um, I got this version because I did get the, my one X camera scratched, like I said, and I sent it back for repair. When I went on the site to, uh, to look at how to get it repaired, I noticed that they had this new version out and I couldn't, uh, because I use it a lot and I really like the camera. I couldn't help myself. And I figured I might as well get the other ones fixed because these cameras are pretty useless if, if they're scratched. Um, so there it is, this camera, um, it's a bit bigger than the, the, than the predecessor, but not by much. Um, also on the front, you see the screen there. That's a, um, there's a the video screen there. Uh, so that's different. That's an upgrade from the, the previous one. Looks pretty good. It feels, feels nice. Um, okay, so let's see what else is in the box here. Okay, so this is uh, this is the power cable. Oh, and a gel pack, very cool. All right, so uh, and this is a USB C. Uh, charging cable um the previous one was um the the micro usb so um i think this is good this is a little bit of an upgrade also in the box we have a uh, lens cloth this is the um little case that comes with to hold it in um the one x also had one like this and that's it. You got some stickers and a little instruction book that doesn't have much instructions in it. So I don't know why they have it. Yeah, this is the lens cloth. Okay, so let's check this thing out. <clears throat> And here's the lens cap. Yeah, so I just bought the camera this time because, um, like I said, I had the I have the One X and the um, the the stick that you that you mounted on, which you pretty much want to have for um, for your shooting. Um, it, it does take the stick out of the video. Um, and the previous camera came with um, a what we call a bullet time stand, which um, is basically a stand, but it allows it to spin around. Um, it looks like in this new version, which I did not get it, it's more of a line, a string that you attach to it. I think the stand was the better option. Uh, this lens cap, this will come in handy. I will keep this on all the time if I'm not shooting. Um, they also have, they didn't have them in stock when I purchased the camera, but they have sticky uh, lens caps, they're clear so that you can put over your the lenses and you can just leave it on there. That way, if it tips over and it gets damaged, it would just be that, that cap. Um, like I said, they didn't have them in stock. They seem to be in stock now, but they're, they're $20. And then, but it's something like, uh, I think over $20 to, to ship the lenses. So, um, I don't know. I may actually pick some up, but I am glad to have the lens cap. Um, here we have the, the charging port. Um, this camera is supposed to be somewhat waterproof and these, um, these compartments for the charging and the battery, 
that's a much bigger battery than the previous one. Um, they have their they seal the compartments, so it should be waterproof. To I think it's I forget what the the depth is on it, but um, I'm going to avoid taking this into the water unless it's in a um, in in a case. I also noticed as I put in the battery and I put in the uh, the cover to where the charge port is. It's um it's a little tricky. It it doesn't close quite great. Um, you have to fiddle it with it, and you got to make sure to pay attention to it that it is closed. Because a few times where I I, I thought I pressed it closed, it wasn't quite closed. Um, that's really only going to be an issue I think if you um if it does like fall into the water. But um you do want to make sure that you do have those cases closed. So uh, getting my one X repaired, I was about it's going to cost about one hundred sixty dollars, uh, including the shipping, and there was some charge for some cover that I'm not really sure what that is for ten dollars. I think it's something like ninety eight dollars or ninety dollars or something per lens, uh, but then they offered me a twenty percent discount. Um, yeah, so I figured that other com camera will come in handy. I did buy the dive case for the one X. Um, I did chose not to pick it up for this one. Um, because you know, it, it's some, it's like seven eighty dollars And, you know, since I purchased it with the one X, I'll, I'll probably just keep that for scuba diving and other types of things. So this is neat. You can see that the screen here shows the, um, the image. Um, this is different from the previous one. And actually you can spin the image around by putting your finger on, on the screen there. Um, if you're not familiar, you can also completely control the camera from an app on the phone. Um, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, for this camera, and I'm not really sure why, um, I couldn't get it to turn off, and I'm not sure. I didn't charge this up. Um, I didn't connect it to the phone at this point. Um, so I gotta figure out if I still have a problem there, but it's just, you're supposed to be able to hold down the power button for two seconds, you know, two long seconds, and supposed to power down, and I couldn't get that to happen. So, um, but it, so I did uh, after uh, shooting this video, I plugged it in to get it a full charge. So here's the camera. I'm powering it on again. Um, I have it standing on the bullet stand. Um, this came with the previous one. I don't think it's available now with this version of the camera. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. It's a nice little stand, but it, it connects to the stick. So I'm trying to get this connected here. So you can see, um, this is my screen on my iPhone that we're looking at here. That's the app. So I'm going ahead to connect it. Yeah, that's not that one. Yep, there we go. Uh, there it is. It's connecting. I didn't realize at this point, uh, because I had the screen faced away from me, that um, you actually have to click the check box on the camera. So I had to um, start this process again. Yeah, so that's what, what's wrong when you have the, the uh, camera turned away from you. Although it did actually give me, I did, it wasn't reading, it's a... A little grayed out, but it does give you a, a, a message there that says um, you have to um, choose OK on the uh, on the on the camera. So there we go, and we're nice and connected now. Almost join the Wi-Fi. Back 
activate. All right, cool. And that's it. I like it a lot. I'll uh, be shooting some videos and I'll do another video here to uh, give my impressions of how I, um, you know, what I think of this one compared to the 1X and I might do a side-by-side -side comparison. Thank you.